and Karen are our guests this morning from the Canadian Cancer Society. We're going to talk about some of the support that cancer um, patients can get in our province. And Anne, I know that uh, you are a breast cancer survivor. Can right. you take us back to that moment where you knew you needed to reach out to get some help? Yes, I can. I was um, within a year of coming to Vancouver for just over four years ago. I was diagnosed. And I knew I had a few new friends and I had a son and family here, but I didn't know any of the medical situations, so I found it quite daunting, even though I am a nurse myself and involved, have been involved with cancer patients, it's very different being a patient. And the Cancer Society, after my surgery, put me in touch with a, su a support group, uh, which was a peer support group, and I had the wonderful experience of somebody phoning me once a week who'd also had a double mastectomy and was able with her professional training from the Cancer Society to help me very much through that time after my surgery when I was going through radiation. And was it difficult to reach out for help or were you longing for that support? It was very difficult for me. I'm very private, I'm very independent and I thought I could manage and I probably would have managed to a certain extent but the, the volunteer with her expertise and her warmth and because she had gone through the same journey she gave me a lot of hope and uh, really calmed my fears about the future wonderful we're gonna learn more about that peer-to-peer -peer program in a second but can you please join me this morning in welcoming Karen and would saying happy National Oncology Nurse Day is that the proper yes, is there yes, a hashtag going about <laughs> oh I'm sure many hashtags are going about yes so Karen tell me about the support that you offer cancer patients well oncology nurses um, and I would say nurses throughout our healthcare system have an opportunity to connect with people who are uh, maybe worried that they have cancer or are being screened to prevent cancer occurring but we also have um, a key role in working with people who are experiencing treatment um, they might be in the diagnostic phase or in the treatment phase um, we also have an opportunity to support people as they graduate from treatment into what is often Often called survivorship and for some we have an active role uh, to throughout their cancer experience with uh, palliative care and for some um, cancer is a chronic condition and for others um, we are there at the end of life as well. Karen is it fair to say that cancer patients can sometimes get quite overwhelmed and if so can we maybe plant some seeds right now about how they can best prepare for a doctor's appointment? Oh, overwhelmed is a, a word we hear a lot. Um, <clears throat> I think the healthcare system is in many ways, <clears throat> pardon me, a foreign land with lots of different kinds of languages and strange customs and we make people wear weird costumes sometimes. Our hospital gowns are famous for that. And uh, there is a way to prepare and uh, that is to recognize that you're never going to feel fully prepared. Have somebody with you. Um, think about what you might want to know ahead of time and write your questions down and let, let the, the care person that you're working with know that you have questions and also be prepared to ask them um, about what other questions people commonly ask. Ask your family what they want to know because oftentimes uh, family members want to know slightly different things than the person who has the diagnosis themselves. Let's talk just uh, really briefly here about the peer-to-peer -peer program. Is it as simple as going on the website and saying, I would love some peer support? Yes, it is that simple. Okay. The website is match.cancer.ca and anyone can go on in with, with a diagnosis. We'll go, be going on that website and can be matched with someone who is trained who has a similar experience. And I would like to stress that this is not therapy, this is not giving advice or telling people what to do, it's listening and walking a little bit the journey with them and if they ask, offering your own experience which is terribly comforting uh, for, for, the, for the person. Thank you so much, Anne and Karen, thank you for joining us. Karen, thank you for lending me your daffodil. Yeah. Daffodil Month uh, Breakfast Television continues after this.